Today we're going to learn how to do this animation in Geometry Node. We are going to animate a lot of lasers pointing in all directions. So let's see. Let's do the camera, the light, go to Geometry Node, create a new profile, and we're going to do this cube and use points. So the points will be the number of lasers. Now we're going to start with one and later we're going to add more. Now we have a single point and we want to convert this point to a curved line. So let's use instance on points. And as instance, let's use a simple curved line. So now here we have a line. This is like a laser. We are going to select direction. Why? Because here we can change how long we want these lasers. Okay, I'm going to select one for now. And now what I want is to show you how to rotate this in all axes. And later, don't worry, we are going to add more lines. So to rotate this in all axes, we need to use rotation, right? We need to animate these three axes. So to do this, we are going to use random value. And really important, we are going to select vector. Why vector? Because rotation has three axes. So we want to apply a random value in the three axes. So let's go into here. And now you will see, for example, let's select this 0 and 0 that now I'm using X, and if I increase this, you can notice that this line is rotating in this axis, just increasing this number. However, if we do it, for example, with this Y, you can notice that now we are rotating in the green axis. And the same with the Z. I'm going to say one here so you can see better. Now, if I name it this, it's going to rotate in the z-axis. Okay, so basically what we want is to increase the three values at the same time. So to do this, what we're going to do is to use a scene time. And now if we press play, this is rotating in all axes. However, now it's going really slow. So to increase this, we need to use a math node and select multiply to make it faster. So, for example, if I increase this, it's going to rotate faster. This will be the velocity of the lasers. And this is the basic concept. Now, the easy part is that you can add more lasers. So, this is the number of lasers. So, more lasers you want, let's increase this. For example, let's select 20. And now, I have these random lasers moving in all directions. However, it's going too fast, so I'm going to select something like 5 and try. Maybe too fast, let's select 2. And really important, when the animation starts, it starts all together because it's giving one value, the first second, to the max. So we have this effect that they start all together and they open. And it's really cool. If you want to have all the lasers perfectly in one single line, what you can do is to add here another math node, actually here, and select minus 0.04. It's just a simple trick to have everything in one single line. So it will start like this in the first frame. And then when we press play, we have this animation. Now let's give some mesh to these lines. So let's go here. And let's add curve to mesh and select a curve cycle. Let's select fill caps and let's decrease the radius. So here we can decrease the radius. For example, let's select I don't know, 0.05 too big. Let's try another zero. Okay, maybe like that. It's cool. Now, let's give some colors to this. So I'm going to select Render View. And I'm going to make the background dark. And add a material here with Set Material. And select the default material. Now, let's go to Material View here. And if you want this to emit light, the only thing you have to do 
is to open this and increase this number. If you want to see the glow, then go to render and enable bloom. And now, if we increase this, we have this effect. And here you can change the color. I'm going to decrease the radius, so I'm going to divide it by 2. I will do it again. So this is a tip. If you want to reduce half the radius, always divide by 2. Remember, if you want more lines, the only thing you have to do is to go here and increase this number. When I play the video, maybe you're going to see it a bit pixelated. Don't worry, it's just the resolution of the render. And finally, if you want to add different colors, what you have to do is to go to Shade Editor. And instead of using this color, we are going to use a color RAM. And let's select here all the colors. So a simple trick, we can use selecting here and select, for example, one color, for example, this one. And now select almost the same color. So this one. And here, instead of selecting near, this means that it tries to make a transition selecting all the colors that are really close. However, if we select far, then it's doing the opposite. Instead of going like this, it's doing all the other path. So the long path. That's why now we have more colors here. However, we are not seeing the colors. So we need to do the last thing. Adding object info. And select random. This is going to apply random colors to the instance. And that's it. If you want also, you can select your own colors. But I like to do it like this because I have more range of colors. And here, remember, you can increase the glow. And if you don't want to see this mix of white, then I recommend you to decrease the number of lines. And if you want to make it longer, remember, here in the curve line, we have the length. So you can make it shorter or longer. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.